Hey guys, so I'm here to do another tarot reading for you. We're going to use the same cards. Um, going to clear the energy. Clear the deck and um, give it some mixes. See, last time there was one fortune that I forgot to uh, show show off when I pulled off pulled out all the fortunes that I keep here on my desk. And it said, um, don't let a day pass you without smiling. Find a reason to laugh every day. And so I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is Swimming Lion, Lion's Tarot, your host. My name is Ian. I'm a swimming lion. I have Leo in my chart. And by the way, this is a Leo reading, because that's just how I feel like I should start this channel. You know, so it's a uh, it's a Le it's a a lot a Leo's channel. You know? I can take a hold of what I was saying for a second there, but this reading is for Leo. I ask uh, all my spirit guides to protect me and come in to give me answers on what um, anybody watching this is dealing with. I was going to say Leo, I also have um, Virgo in my chart and Cancer, a couple repeated placements, so like two Virgo, two Cancer. I just like to spit off the first five, but I got pretty much everything in my chart like a lot of earth fire water but like almost no air so i don't know if you guys can pick up on that if you guys can pick up on that let me know tell me what your journey has been through astrology and everything okay spirit is telling me to show what's on the bottom of the deck and it's the star card it's in the upright something that you're seeing clearly like uh maybe you you woke up in the morning and you feel like, yeah, I really, I really uh, sat on this thing I've been thinking about. And I think that whatever is coming to my mind today, that is the right, that's the right thing. Maybe it feels like it's um, frivolous, but it's the right thing. You worked hard to get here. And, um, yeah, this, this seven of cups usually gets sort of a frivolous, like, um, energy, like all that glitters, um, but really I think it's just, I'm getting the vibe with this star that it's just, um, your emotions, all, all, all these emotions, even though they're unstable, they've led you to point where you feel like you know as a human you got to do something about this okay let's keep drawing I have the wheel of fortune in reverse now it's touching the star card and it's also overlaying this so maybe, although you made this decision, maybe something bad is happening, or looks like it's happening, and you're worried about it. Um, whew, is this going to get complex, Spirit? You know, if you've heard of the Nova effect, it's that sometimes bad things can have good outcomes. This Wheel of Fortune is facing upright to me, and um, it, it's in the reverse to the camera. So maybe it's telling us that um, you know, there are two sides of the coin to change. And for you, it might just be a little scary right now. Spirit, are there messages for the person watching this? They're, taking, they're telling me to look at the bottom of the deck and draw from the top. I have the Seven of Swords. I'm, I'm looking at it this way. 
Just finding new ways to do things. This is like just like last, like yesterday's reading. I have the f three of pentacles. I'm looking at it in the upright. I saw on the camera first. So this is our friends. Good friends. Maybe this good friends are kind of covering up the change, trying to keep you like sane while you're going through all this. There's a lot that you've built here that could crumble if you're not careful with this decision, maybe about this person or this work opportunity. What else? Oh, I was gonna draw off the top. Um, four swords in the reverse. I don't wanna wait. I, I don't wanna wait through all this. This is all really difficult. The process that I'm gonna have to go through. I'm starting it, but it's just making me feel like it's going up, dragging on a bit longer than, than I need to, you know, it's all painful. Spirit, what can we say to help the collective? Judgment. This is what you decided is the best. There are pros and cons to everything, but when you decide that something is the best, there's no stopping this judgment card. It's gonna be there, it's gonna eat under your skin if it needs to. That's why people like stay so long in a bad thing and they feel that they have that feeling that they're caught there. It's because they deep down inside they have this judgment about the star. You know, a decision that's gonna be for my highest good. Maybe my, you're lucky if you got friends that are supporting you right now with all of the things changing in the world, you're lucky. And there's the Page of Cups. That confirms what I'm saying. I kind of saw it as both. I don't know whether to put it up or down. But um, I was going to put it here with friends. It's kind of another friend card, the Page of Cups. It's, hey, come with me. Let's have fun. Let's have a good time. You know, that might be your friends being like, hey, this is what you got to do now. This is the part that you got to play. The Five of Pentacles. This is what you've got to do to make the show go on. Because the show must go on. Okay. Shit's changing. I didn't want to show that card, but it flashed on the screen. It's the death card. I just wanted to see it to like sort of look, confirm with my intuition what's going on. I'm not trying to scare you. This is a scary thing already, but yeah, that was the death card, and uh, it just means change. Means, uh, what's that? That like um, song that plays in Toy Story when Buzz is trying to fly to the window, and he like falls down and breaks his his arm off. It's like I'm going through changes. That's a good song. Bad soundtrack. What questions do we ask spirit? Lord, protect me and help me right now. Understand the question the healer can have. What to do? What are we supposed to do? I want to draw this top card. Keep on working on what I built. It's the same message as yesterday. Trying to focus on what my task. Keep myself distracted for a little while. That feels like what's going on is that you just need to distract yourself for a while or that's what you're doing. Um, it's hard when you're trying to deal with something. Four of Pentacles. Obviously this is um, an energy, I think it's an earth energy. It's just the vibe I get from the card. I don't know. And the Pentacles is sort of like a concrete foundational thing. So that's why I'm saying that. But I'm, I'm saying that because I'm getting sort of like an emotional energy from this card too. Um, and it's like, what am, I, what am 
んですよね。はい。You've, you've put a lot of stock in your emotions. Now it's what you've built. It's what you've been working on, is how you feel. You've been trying to save away the little moments that are good for later. Because this whole thing is painful. You, you're probably having to wear this persona on the outside to other people. Like, don't really mess with me. But on the inside, you feel like sensitive. And you're just trying to be with your friends because your friends are keeping you strong and straight, and helping you with this judgment. Um, it's going to be best for your emotions, for the future, for more moments. Mom the squirrel is saving his tentacles, but in the springtime, after he has dug them up all through the winter and eaten them, there will be more nuts to go find. There will be more moments for you once you lay the foundation of this judgment. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. God is saying that you are strong. Oh, I'm flying. It's the Six of Wands. And we also have a Flipper. Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Greener pastures ahead. Got to do what's best. And these two pentacles. So I see the two of pentacles as this bird making a choice between one of these two pentacles. There's always two sides to a, two, a number two card. And this looks like a nest, though, for this bird to come back and protect. But I'm also seeing it as a choice. And it's a choice to... Um, protect yourself, protect what you love, maybe your kids, maybe you're doing this whole thing for your kids or for your future, and you're just trying to look forward, yeah, I'm trying to relax, it's not working out that easy, but at least I'm trying, Queen of Pentacles. Trying to be in my best or highest energy and make the right decision. I'm kind of looking back though, like this uh, bird right here. You might be looking back at all this and it's making you uncomfortable. What is, what, what are the best things to say right now to the collective to help them? Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Right away, I wanted to say with the Nine of Pentacles that we're going to have to take things slow. And for you, it's in the reverse on the screen. So it may be hard to take things slow. You're a fire sign. You're speaking to fire signs. And... Um, Maybe it's easier for me because I have earth in my chart. My mom is an earth sign, uh, a Virgo. And um, I just kind of used to this in a sense. But I know it can be hard. And it's been that way throughout my whole life. I wanted to push things faster and faster and get on to the next thing. And that makes sense. But with people and situations, sometimes it takes just a little bit of time. Like the time you need to save up money. You know, if your friends are going on a trip in the summer and it feels like it's going to happen next month and you got to have all this money by then, it's hard to take things slow. But you just got to focus. Page of Swords. It's Roadrunner. I'm hearing in my head, run the machine. Run run with it whatever you got and it's going to lead to this ace of cups this new beginning 
maybe love, maybe financial fulfillment, maybe a home, ace of cups, look at this cup and this bluebird, forget the name of this, this bird, but it's drinking in this beautiful cup around all these flowers, around a perfect little pond in the forest, and maybe it, it doesn't live there, but it's a beautiful place for this bird to be. And one thing we have to remember is that we're all, you know, we, we have homes and it's beautiful, make our home beautiful, where we live and grow and become healthy or become sick. And so we need a good environment in our home with our love, our relationships and everything. But as, as a spiritual uh, vessel in this body, we're here as a guest. And it's important to appreciate what we do have and what we get. And even though it's a slow process to work for these things, it's part of this reality. And it will branch you from things that are difficult and feel slow and through diligence will lead you to that which is beautiful and right for you. The right decision, the star. That's what this reading is about. Yeah, you know. And Spirit is saying that good things will come for you. Love and success. Um, just gotta put the right things in your heart. the right moments and take things slow things will come that wraps it us uh, wraps it up for us swimming and lions I hope you guys uh, go get it dry um, cook yourself something take care of yourself we're gonna take this into an extended um, I'm gonna ask spirit a few questions um, some questions that are coming to my mind are who this person is, um, what their intentions are, and um, I just want to say on that, when I ask those questions in the extended, it's just going to be about for whoever you feel like the questions are going to be about. They could be about this new person, if you've already met somebody this new house or situation, or it could be about the old person. You got questions about them, and I'll just try to branch out and give an overview of the picture and some messages from Spirit um, with that extended. So with that, hope you guys are doing great, and I'll catch you next time.